Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about implementing cancelling and timeout uh, functionality in your asynchronous uh, functions in your components or in your code in general. So the specific API I'm going to look at is called the Abort Signal API or the Abort Controller API, which is built into all modern browsers. So we're going to start with the Fetch API. If you look at our UI here, we have a get post button that when you click, we wait for the data to load and then the data is displayed for the user. So we are going to anticipate something with our fetch call here you're going to anticipate that the request may take too long for the user and the user may have to wait for a long time for it to complete so how do we exit the fetch request after a certain amount of time so that uh, it doesn't take too long to complete well it's not that difficult to add that functionality to the fetch api the fetch api accepts an option called a signal where we can pass the abort signal to the fetch api so let's say we anticipate this fetch request to complete under one second right so the first api we can use is the abort signal dot uh, timeout api so with the timeout function we can say if this takes more than one second then the fetch request will be cancelled so if we try to get the posts you'll notice that the fetch request will now error after one second and if you go to the network tab you'll see that the request has been cancelled so this is perfect for cancelling requests that you anticipate will not take longer than a specified amount of time or if there's an error completing the request on the server and it is hanging then this signal will cancel it immediately after one second and notify the user of the error. So if you wanted to go further and notify the user of the exact error that occurred, we can just check the name of the error. So we can go ahead and check if uh, the name of the error is a timeout error. Then we can set uh, the status to timeout. And when we run the function again, you know that uh, a timeout has just occurred. So that is one way we can cancel a fetch request so what if instead of a timeout we want the user to be able to cancel the request so we can do that but uh, we use another api called an abort controller so let's initialize it so let's call it controller so which is an abort controller and so the signal will get from the controller and then we can pass this signal to the fetch request like that so with this we can implement a cancel functionality so we can add uh, another button here that say uh, cancels the request right and then when you click the button we can uh, handle the cancel so let's implement uh, this function so the handle function will just call controller.abort, which uh, when called will signal here that the request has been uh, aborted and then abort the fetch request. So let's see it in action. So if we click get posts and then click cancel, immediately the uh, fetch call is cancelled. So this is pretty cool. So our implementation works, but it introduces uh, another issue here. If you look at uh, our logs here, we are not able to make subsequent requests after the first request was aborted so if we try to click the get post again you'll notice that uh, the requests are not being sent anymore so it looks like the abort signal can only be used once so once you abort then you cannot reuse the signal so we can resolve this by using a new signal every time the get post button is clicked so that can be fixed by uh, using refs so instead of uh, using one controller here we can uh, declare a new controller via the use ref hook so use ref now holds an instance of the abort controller so this way when we click uh, the get post function we need to grab the signal from the controller ref like that and then pass it to our data fetching function so our data fetching function here expects a signal to be passed to the fetch function and then in our function that uh, aborts the controller we abort the current uh, value of the controller ref and then reinitialize it with a new abort controller so after you cancel the signal we create a new signal so that should be all so let's import uh, our use ref hook here so with that we can be able to cancel multiple times so if we call the get post function we can 
can cancel it like that. And then if you try to get post again, we can still cancel it. So with that, we are able to cancel it multiple times. And then when we don't cancel it, then the data will come. So that way we have an asynchronous fetch that can be canceled multiple times. So this introduces uh, new ideas that we can use to cancel. We realize that uh, we can actually cancel any asynchronous activity in our app. It doesn't have to be a fetch function. So for example, we could have an async function uh, called uh, long task, for example. So this function expects a signal passed into it. And here we perform uh, something that takes time to complete. So we could say we are returning a promise. So this is an async function that returns a promise with a resolve and a reject like that. So inside our function here, we perform a long running task. So we can use the signal to cancel the task. So for example, we can do a timeout that uh, resolves for after five seconds. So we want to be able to cancel this task at any time. We don't have to wait for the five seconds for it to complete. So we can actually add an event listener to a signal object which listens to the abort event. So we can say once the abort event is called, we just reject the promise with uh, whatever reason was passed to the abort call. So let's test our function here. So we can uh, reuse our handle click function here. So instead of uh, fetching data, we could uh, do an await for the long task and pass over the signal like that. And maybe once our task completes, we set the success status like that. And then we can add uh, a message here once the task is completed. So let's test it in our browser UI. So if we click our get post here, it should call our long running function. Then after five seconds, we get the task completed message. So if we try to do it again and then cancel halfway, you can see that uh, we can also successfully cancel non fetch request. So we have canceled our async function here. So the about control controller and uh, the about signals is not just for fetch request. You can cancel any asynchronous task in your UI just by using these two APIs and they are available in all modern browsers. So you don't need to install external libraries to implement this. So that's it. I hope uh, you learned something new this week. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.